Taylor here. So because we're in isolation and I am stuck in my own house all day, I thought that I'd change up my content a little bit and um, start filming some YouTube videos. Um, I am definitely more comfortable writing than I am in front of the camera, um, but I'm sure that with a few videos that will feel a little bit more normal just to chat um, to a camera instead. So I thought today I would share with you guys my like everyday makeup routine. Um, it's very easy, very simple, really minimal products, um, which is great for this sort of time because we aren't leaving the house. But sometimes it's nice to put makeup on and feel a little bit more normal. Um, especially if you're working from home, it can kind of get you back into that routine of getting up, showering, putting makeup on, um, and then you feel like you're ready for work. So I, yeah, thought that I would just film that for you guys today and hopefully you enjoy it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. <laughs> All right, so um, to start off with, I am going to pop on some moisturizer. So this is the Environ Skin Essentia ABST Moisturizer 1. Um, this moisturizer is really nice because it's really lightweight um, and you don't need a lot of it. Um, so it's, it's nice and nice under makeup because it's not too oily or too thick or anything like that. So I just apply that all over my face and on my neck. This moisturizer also contains vitamin A and vitamin C, so it's a really, really um, good way to get those ingredients and antioxidants into your skin every day. Um, so as you can see, it's given me a little bit of a glow, which is nice. Um, and it sinks in real fast, so that's really nice too. Um, next up is sunscreen, so I'm using the Invisible Physical Defense by Dermalogica. This is a physical sunscreen that's just been released by Dermalogica um, and I'm just trying it out. So it's an SPF 30. It is physical so it does take a little bit to rub in and yeah it is just a little bit of a bit more work than a, a chemical sunscreen um, but is beautiful to wear every day. Um, smells really nice too. <laughs> if that is something that you like in a product as you can see, because it's physical, it goes pretty white, um, and it takes a little bit to rub in, but bear with me while I rub that in. It's also got um, blue light protection from our screens, so um, that's really good too, because we all know how much more we're using our screens now that we are in lockdown. I actually looked at mine this morning, um, and last week, I was up to, I averaged it 11 hours on my screen, so that was pretty bad, and I was like, oh my god, um, that's terrible, but I, um, have kind of made myself feel a little bit better about it because I had spent seven, nearly eight hours of that time, um, reading on my phone, so I was like, she's fine, it's absolutely fine comment down below if you also have a terrible screen time um, at the moment because god knows mine is horrific. Right, so that's all rubbed in. As you can see it gives quite a nice glow. Um, I find that I have quite oily skin so I don't enjoy it as much as some other sunscreens that I've used underneath makeup just because I find it a bit slippy. Um, but I ran out of my other sunscreen, so <laughs> that's the one that I'm using at the moment. Um, so next I'm using some, a little bit of foundation. I actually ran out of my normal foundation I usually use, which is the MAC Face and Body, um, foundation. And I usually just, like, chuck that in my fingertips and, like, massage it into my face like I would a moisturiser. Um, but this one is the Revlon photo rated candid foundation um, and I need to use a sponge with this one because it's a little bit more thicker um, and a little bit more coverage than usual so I just pop a little bit of that on my hand and use my sponge to apply that all over my face 
This one's quite a nice medium coverage. Um, you don't need a lot of it, which is quite nice to give you enough of a coverage that you feel everything's covered, but you can still see your um, skin underneath. So that's really nice. I really shouldn't have worn my heat on for this video because it was getting all in my way. I just blend that down my neck. And just blend that all around over my eyelids. I really, really um, blend this one in because it can look like it's kind of sitting on top of the skin if you don't really blend it properly. Right, so then I don't usually wear concealer just because um, I find that it creases underneath my eyes and it's just another another step that kind of makes my face look a bit cakey. So I don't usually wear concealer. Um, I haven't found one that I really, really enjoy yet. So if you have any suggestions, um, feel free to let me know. That would be awesome. Once we're out of this lockdown, I'll be able to go and buy it. <laughs> um, next product that I use, I'm a Robin blush lover. So um, I take my Kosas, what is it? Velvet Melon Color and Light palette. So it's a little cream highlighter and blush palette. Um, you might have seen it on my Instagram if you follow me there. Um, but I just take the blush with my fingers, just rub around in there, and give myself a little bit of a blush. This stuff is nice and natural. Um, easy to use, easy to blend. It doesn't make you feel like a total idiot <laughs> when you're wearing it because it just, even if you put on too much, it just blends in super easy and gives you that really nice glow which is what we all want so as you can see just a really light layer gives your cheeks that little pop um, and just brightens up your complexion and like I said it's really easy to use so um, pretty foolproof really and it lasts a pretty long time too for a cream um, I find, because I have oily skin, that it's probably a little less long-lasting on my skin than it would be on a dry skin, but I still love it just the same, because I love that fresh, glowy look that it brings. Um, and so then I'm just going to pop on a little bit of the highlighter too. So, just up on my cheekbone. I like to put it across my eyelid and in my inner corner too. Just to give my eyes a little bit of depth. And brighten them up because I don't wear concealer. Cool. So that's um, blush and highlight done. And so far, I've, well, makeup wise, I've only used two products. So that's pretty simple and easy. I like that very much. <laughs> I'm really not a big long routine kind of gal when it comes to my makeup. I like something really quick and easy because when I do have work, when we're not on lockdown, I don't have a lot of time to worry about my makeup. So um, I usually just do a really quick, easy routine that makes me look fresh and awake. But um, yeah, that's not too over the top too. I'll do my brows. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. Um, this one has a pencil on one end and a spoolie on the other, which is something I really enjoy in a brow pencil. Um, I like it when they have the little two-in-one. Um, that's super helpful. So I'm just going to use the little mirror I have here um, and comb out my brows. And just carefully fill those in. Next time I'm able to go to the supermarket, I will definitely need to buy some tweezers if I can find any. Because um, your gal's brows are getting slightly out of hand. So that's fun. I was going to say, at least nobody's seeing me, but 
carrying the video like myself over the internet. So, lots of you, all hopefully, are going to see me. find that because I've used that sunscreen underneath my skin is really glowy um, and like I said it feels a little bit slippy so my skin um, is probably slightly too glowy for my liking but the, it will settle down um, throughout the day but if you have dry skin that's probably a really nice feeling for you um, I would probably more so wear the sunscreen on like a hike or to the beach um, I don't particularly like it underneath the makeup personally, but um, that's just me. Brows all done. Next, I'm gonna put on some of this. So this is my lash growth serum. Um, this is called Ash Lash. It's a New Zealand made lash serum, which is really cool. Um, and I have had amazing results from it. I'm actually nearly out, so I'm a little bit sad about it. And um, I can't wait till I can get some more, because I love it. The results I get from it. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna put on some mascara. Um, this is the Lancome Definisils <laughs> mascara. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Probably not. Um, but Mariah Leonard actually recommended this. Um, and her lashes always look incredible. So I thought I'd give it a go and I am actually really enjoying it. It just does take a little bit of work, um, which is the only annoying thing about it, that I really have to kind of fold it up onto my lashes to get any sort of, not payoff I suppose, but to get the kind of volume and things that I'm looking for. But once I do that, it's really nice. It just takes a little bit longer than usual. I don't usually wear eyeshadow day to day, um, just because I'm a bit lazy and can't be bothered. <laughs> so, I, yeah, don't wear, I just wear mascara and kind of really build it up to get that kind of look that I'm awake and alive and ready to do the day. If you guys have one eye of eyelashes that works, like, plays the game way better than the other side because it's definitely 100% this side that plays the game um, and the other side doesn't which is really frustrating <laughs> let me know if that's a problem for you guys because I um, I struggle like I said I spend a really long time building this up so this is taking a large amount of time Sometimes I actually go back in with my Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara and this one's pretty much It's done its dash. There's no more product left on it, but I really like the brush for separation So I go back in with this brush and separate my lashes out a little bit more So that it looks like I have more than five eyelashes <laughs> So I'll go back through So I find that it spreads out the lashes and takes away that excess gunky product that's sitting in between them um and because I'm messy as hell I always get mascara all over my eyelids so because my skin is actually so dewy I can just wipe it away which is quite helpful um if my skin is so slippy from that sunscreen and last but not least um I pop on a lippy my usual everyday go-to is pretty much just a nude um, a peachy nude, a brownie nude, um, I'm not, well, I used to wear quite bright colours for work, um, but I actually got Invisalign and it is the biggest pain in the butt um, wearing a lipstick with these in because it gets literally everywhere and then I have like a bright pink mouth. Um, I don't know how it gets on my teeth so bad, I don't know why it gets on my teeth so bad, but it does. So I've given up <laughs> on my bright colours until I get rid of this. This is a Lauren and Louise lipstick. It's called um, Micro Latte. So I'm just gonna, it's just a nice brown, purpley, kind of purpley, pinky, mauvey nude. <laughs> um, apparently, I'm great at describing colours. I love this one for everyday wear because it is really creamy. It doesn't dry out my lips, but it's easy to wear. Um, 
easily apply like on the go you can pretty much do it without a mirror because it's like a bit slap happy which is my kind of lipstick um and yeah just really enjoy the color of this one it gives my lips a little bit of something something um but doesn't look too overpowering with the rest of my very minimal makeup so yeah i just counted and i used pretty much five products um so that was nice and super easy usually this takes me 20 minutes if that um in the morning which is really nice and means that i can get up a little bit later <laughs> so i can still look put together and i'm ready for work so i hope you guys enjoyed um i will hopefully be doing a lot more youtube videos now that i'm stuck at home um by myself all day <laughs> So just let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me, um, whether you enjoyed this one. Um, yeah, just let, let me know some feedback down below um, and I will see you for my next one. Bye guys.